Team What's up guys, TP here from Team Top Drive, and today we're coming to you with the Brawl Attack profile that was recently featured in our battle video. My friend will do the profile, take it away. Anyway guys, welcome. Uh, so my starting grade zero is Sparky Dragoon. The reason I run it is because in a brawler deck, grade threes are pretty much the center of the deck because of the buster skill and everything. And you know, he looks cool. He's riding a dragon. Yes, but you were Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's my starter. All right. And then for grade zeros, I run four heal triggers because you know I need heals. Everyone needs heals. It's standard four heal. Would you say they're better than a critical trigger? Uh, in some situations, yeah. I mean, you know, triggers of situations. So, would you say the heal trigger is better than ripples? Everything's better. <laughs> yeah, better. And then I run these draw triggers here. I run six draw, as you can see. The reason. Okay, yeah. The reason I run six draws instead of four draws is because I feel you need to draw a little bit more over the crits. And I like draw because they give us give me more survivability and stuff like that. I, I just like six draw in a brawler deck. I don't know. I just like these ones. Okay. That's fair and then I run six crit. Now, the reason I run the effect trigger instead of the other brawler crit trigger is because it, it, it goes back into the deck. I can give a unit the ability to gain 3k every time my Vanguard hits. And obviously with brawler deck, you're hitting multiple units at once. So this can potentially give like 12k or like 18k or something to a certain card. So that's why I run two of the other crit trigger instead of this. What? Why wouldn't you play two of the other crit trigger instead of this? Because I like the artwork from this one better than the other one. Oh, is the other one also vanilla? Yeah. Okay. But then, yeah, basically I like the artwork from this one and the flavor text better than the other crit trigger. But of course, that is obviously like down to taste. Have you ever considered stand triggers instead? Uh, I have a little bit, but I've decided to go more crits because I personally prefer crit triggers and I personally just like attacking the vanguard first then resolving everything. But you, you can run stands and it can be quite devastating with stands, especially if you're hitting like 20 some K, but I prefer crits. Uh, for grade one, we run four sentinels, but I run one quintet wall. The reason I run a quintet wall is because it's a legion deck and it can be quite hard to get legion like as soon as you go to grade 3. So the quintet wall, not only can it guard a damage, but it can also put cards into my drop zone which allows me to then shuffle them back in. So it, it feeds the deck basically early on. Plus, you know, it's kind of cool. And then I run three gold because, you know, I need perfect guards. The reason I don't run Anastasia's is because, quite frankly, I can't be bothered buying more. But, you know, gold's kind of cool. I have golds anyway, so I may as well just save money and run the gold. By the way, the Prime deck is a million, so that's why it's awesome. I run then three Shrine Neighbors. The, the reason I run three Shrine Neighbors is because you are using Grade Freeze to feed the deck a lot. So it's nice to have Shrine Neighbors just to sort of like take off the pain of like trying to keep a Grade Free. So you can keep the Grade Free back for Buster skill, and then you can use Mighty Bolt Dragoon to uh, basically pay for stride, because you don't care about discarding a mighty bolt more than you would a grade three. So I run three of those. And then I run four wild pop dragons. The reason I run these wild pop dragons is because one, they're fairly pressure, so it's like 10K, you can, you can rush your opponent, because you, you're attacking 10K of attacks, because it, it's only when it attacks and I have a brawl of vanguard, it doesn't have to attack a specific target. So that's why I like wildcard. And because it's a brawler, it's standard 7k, you know, 
just standard stuff really. And then finally I run for Kokon. The reason I like Kokon is because it's when my Vanguard hits, when my Vanguard Brawlin's card name hits, it, gain, it gains 3k. And I, the reason I run it over Ark is because this isn't Legion restricted. Plus with Ark, the uh, unit has to go to the drop zone rather than the unit just hitting. Then the Vanguard just hitting. So I think this is better and it's a lot more flexible. Now on to the grade twos. So first up, two Sky Howl. The reason I run two Sky Howl is because one is just very cheap retire, and two, it looks kind of cool. But mainly, it's you know, it's, it's counterblast one retire a front row unit. It's just it's just very cheap, and you can use it very early on to sort of like uh, mount a bit of pressure. And then next up is four Big Bang Slash Dragon. Now this has this is good because it gains 3k every time my Brawler Vanguard hits, which is great. And also it's to make the Big Bang Knuckle Dragon, which isn't the ideal ride, but it's okay because it's counter blast to attack a whole front row. So it's it's good. It's a legion mate. That's pretty much the, there is, all there is to it. And then finally, there's four Big Bang slash Buster. Now, there's two reasons to run this. One, it'll be 11k on the attack because it gains 2k when it attacks if I have a Vanguard with Big Bang Knuckle in its name. And two. It, it gains 3k every time my brawl of uh, my big bang knuckle va vanguard hits a unit. So and plus it is the make to buster, which is also great. So it's just all around pretty much core card. I like it. Next up, grade freeze. So first of all, three big ba uh, four big bang knuckle dragon. Sorry. Now the reason this is not your. Uh, preferred ride. Obviously, you would prefer to go into Buster, but this is not a bad like uh, alternative because you counter blast two cards with Brawler, and then if it's in Legion, it gains 5k and the ability to attack my opponent's whole front row in one attack. Plus, when it attacks, I can Soul Blast one and give it 3k, so I can essentially make it 28k at my opponent's whole front row. So it's a good alternative, not what you want to ride obviously, but it's great and also it's just, it can be paid for Buster's cost as well to put it into cross ride straight away. And then the preferred grade 3 here, Big Bang Knuckle Buster. So this is a great card because it can, it, obviously there's Legion, and then its effect is I can counter blast one card, choose a Big Bang Knuckle card from my hand and put it into Soul. So ideally you want to put Big Bang Knuckle Dragon into Soul because this, because then this will be uh, on cross ride numbers. But obviously it's just any Big Bang Knuckle card, so you can put a copy of itself into Soul. And then when it attacks, I can attack up to four units at once, which is great because that's what brawlers genuine genuinely do. They just hit multiple numbers at once, and uh, that's basically how you gain advantage. So I like it, it's a great card. Next on to the grade fours, so we run two Zorus, because it's just, it's just standard, you know, it's, it's good. It, it can hit and then bind two and retire one and whatnot. You, you mainly use it uh, to fuel turbo, but you can use it just if your opponent's not extending field, you can just use it for triple drive. Next, I run two conquests. The reason I run two conquests is for two reasons. One, it's a good card, and two, it's because if your opponent doesn't want to extend yet again, you can just uh, flip one up and then give your front row like 10k, or if your opponent has put like one on the front row, 
you can retire that and then have your front row gain 10k. So it's basically just more power to ramp up and whatnot. And plus you were allowed to grab two and snap bus one with top of the row. Yeah, that too. But mainly for the 10k. And then finally, the coup de gras. If you so will. Big Bang Knuckle Turbo. Now this is a great card. So its effect is, once put in, in Calm Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, and flip up any G card, the any card in your stride, and then it gains the effect to attack three units for each heart. So if you're in Legion, you can attack your whole of your opponent's whole field at once, and then it gains three k uh, five k for each copy of itself face up in the Jesus. So you can use this about three times, basically. Well, you can use it four times, but I'd use it like three times a game. Because I would go flip Azorus, flip Azorus, flip copy of itself. And, you know, it's, it's just a great card, because why wouldn't you want to attack six units at once? Everything synergizes with that. And, yeah, I like it. <laughs> Yeah. So, so yeah, I, and uh, that's pretty much the whole profile. What do you think is your hardest matchup? My hardest matchups are, I would say, Pale Moon, Grand Blue, and sometimes Shadow Paladin, depending on what happens. And the reason I say that is because Pale Moon put everything back into the soul, so I can't hit anything. And uh, then Grand Blue, basically everything dies because of Apollo and stuff. And then Shadow Paladin, they're retiring their own units, so it can be hard for them to have a juicy field for me to hit. Juicy field. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but basically, this deck thrives on hitting cards. And with bursting through with a punch of death, one punch. <laughs> But, but, yeah, and with those, they're just like, they're getting rid of them completely. So all I can really do is maybe go into Azorus, maybe do a conquest and give 10k to my whole front row. But otherwise, I'm literally just there, slamming them with a vanguard attack and getting like a 15 card hand that won't matter because I'll just die out right anyway. Alright, cool. Well, that'd be for the next part, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Comment down below if you thought it would be a fun problem. Yeah, it's been easy. If you haven't watched our video, go and watch it. I'm going to be there if I can see it for myself. Skill of triple driving, three points. And then on the east side, try to the fourth one. Yeah, skill get, there. You know, Little secret, he cheated. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Alright, guys, see you next time.